rock and roll. So we're here in the beautiful uh, Tom Burns studio. I just think that's such a gorgeous uh, painting. We won't go to the whole gag of me pretending I don't know who it is, but uh, Yeats, uh, he's a striking man. We, we've been blessed in Irish with, with Joyce, Yeats, I think Beckett's probably got the greatest, uh, and Heaney, but Beckett's oh, probably right. got the greatest uh, Ru Mount Rushmore face I've ever uh, seen. His, his yeah. face tells us a thousand stories. Uh, a thousand parties, I'd say, too, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have the photographs of your development of, of, of the, the painting from the blank canvas to what we see now before us. <laughs> I mean, how long does that normally take you? Obviously, you can't just do it 24 hours a day or even no, 12 hours a day. Was, I started working on that, I'd say, about three weeks ago. Oh, right. And now it hasn't taken three weeks, but I've been working on it. I started three weeks ago, and you start, and you have to let it rest and breathe, and then yeah. you put another layer on. And there'd be, I suppose, overall, like... The photographs that I showed you uh, of it, there might be seven layers on it, you know. Wow, right. So that'll be from from the from the beginning to the end, with, with a few sketches beforehand for yeah. composition, and then choosing a color palette and. Uh, and the actual decision, sorry, in regard to you know the, the old uh, the old very basic idea that the eyes follow you around the room. Or I think the nose in this case is is a striking man. But is there a, is there a kind of a, a an idea in your head of what you think makes a good portrait that you feel it is about you know an expression, it's a moment, or or it's just that you have iconic features that you really want to just sort of you know make it a that's sort of almost like a, a branded this is that face you know this. Yeah, face. well, I tell you there are certain photographs of people that's. You wouldn't know it was them, right? You know, right. Like, yeah. It wouldn't be characteristically look like them, you know. Yeah. And it's, unless, I mean, there are uh, certain certain people that no matter what photograph there is, uh, yeah, that it is them. I mean, like, uh, let's see, there was uh, what's that horsey guy's name? Um, uh, is he Irish or international? Yeah, uh, um, he used to he used to own Manchester United Football Club. Oh, he's on dreadful with football, so I'll have to really horsey, stretch. Horsey guy, uh, what's his okay. name? Uh, <laughs> you put me, I have no idea about football. Well, I, I was know. commissioned to do his face. Right, his right. And we we'll say the horse, that, the horse that owned Manchester United. Oh, there you go. Is it yeah. CPO or okay. JP? Right. Jim, I'll pretend, I, I'll pretend I know. I'm just, I'm just not saying because I, I want you to, I want you to suffer. I want you to suffer. I know, of course, because I know everything, but I'm pretending not to know. No, his face is... Just every photograph is yeah. so characteristic, characteristically yeah. him. But there's certain people, like I mean, say now, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. Every photograph of her looks different. <laughs> you know, and there's yeah. a term for that. And then you got to find something that is, you know, characteristically them. You know? I think, well, I think people have Picasso faces too. I have a Picasso face. You know, I'm, I'm incredibly striking in real life, but then a photograph. It's like some sort of cubist thing happens. So suddenly, my features go left and right when they should be going yeah, in the same direction. Yeah, yeah. And so that can happen yeah, too. That can yeah, happen. Uh, it's always good to meet the person, even if it's yeah. only for five minutes. Right. You know, it's always good to meet the and person. Is there a daunting kind of side to it that you know, as much as an actor fears playing a real life character, when you're painting, you kind of in that that in that moment you're representing a huge amount to to a lot of people. You know, if you're painting yeah. Joyce or Beckett or but obviously like a father or a mother or a daughter to somebody, yeah. it, this is kind of like, a, to them, it's going to be, you know, a, a sacred, yeah. you know, representation of them forever and ever. So I suppose there's that sort of notion that this is not just about a, a pretty picture. It's about, you know, in some way representing for yeah. a very, very long time, hopefully, uh, this person. Yeah, and you want to, I mean, at a certain point, if the person, if it is a commission and the person's alive, yeah. and, you know, like the mother or father or whatever, it's good to, at a certain point, you start collaborating. I'll right. Here now. Okay, an idea of how they, because uh, of course if they're involved, they'll feel a lot more satisfied. Yes, you see this one here, I think this, this is your own, this is your own little brass. That's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a one. great, I love that painting, it's stunning. See this woman here now. Ah, yeah. That's at lovely. a certain point, yeah. you'd collaborate with the with yeah. her, so she looks at it and she's. That's gorgeous. You know, so there's a and I can see a picture down there, obviously, about the tour as well, but it's just, yeah. uh, that's, that's a lovely, lovely sort of. Uh, you know what, there's a thing, I think, where, where a painting just becomes alive like there's a life in it yeah that you know beyond the actual materials used and, and you know the lighting that you would sort of portray there's a kind of a light which is on when, when it gets when it's right yeah and it's a funny thing it's it is like that person is a yeah. little bit of the soul thing comes into it and all that yeah yeah now yeah. i did sketches of her and i met her so and that's always good you know and then yeah. you collaborate with the person especially if it's if it's their mother or her father or something sure involved, they can they can sort of get involved in it as well 
Yeah. Which I enjoy, you know. And uh, that's coming into the later stages. And we should we should make it clear to people that it's, it's so easy to pop in here and have a look at your amazing work because I think people feel that there's a rarefied sort of a you know kind of a, a you know there are rarefied places where people have, people have small galleries and they do their yeah. own work and all that that you you know basically you have to be in the business to or in the business of buying or in the business yeah. of doing art oh, no. to call in so you know we should yeah. just let everyone know you're right across the road of course from a uh, bookshop and hungry monk and all those guys yeah. here you're very kind of convenient on the main street yeah. just just that to say book is in the bookshop <laughs> oh, lovely job that's handy yeah. So you got both sides of the streets covered, but just that idea too that you're, um, you know, just just this idea that you're able to walk in not only just on, on, on a, in a gallery, but then the, the actual artist is uh, in mid flow as well. It's sort of a it's a rare treat because um, you know you won't get that in town so often that you can just sort of go into somebody's uh, gallery and see them in action. Absolutely. Yeah, and we should say you've got a great little um, we have it up on the guide anyway, but you've got a great offer for uh, Christmas where yeah. uh, your portraits and. Uh, you can explain. I know we, we use this lovely uh, baby painting in the in the actual piece here, but we yeah, wrap up with this. You, how yeah. much is it now for a lovely painting like that? Now it's, your... it's one ninety. Wow, and it's normally three sixty, isn't it? It's normally three fifty. Yeah. Three fifty. There you go. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, with that, I think um, we have the uh, illustrations as well to go with this, so people can see just how this progressed. And uh, all I can say is, you have beautiful work, and uh, it's just great to have something like this in the town for people to swing up to. And uh, yeah, as I say, they're, they're, for me now, a painting like this would be. Um, you know, it's a forever thing. It's not like, oh, I got a nice uh, bunch of flowers for you or I got a nice jumper. There's uh, something incredibly uh, beautiful and, and, and deep. Should I start singing? I feel like I should start singing. Give it, yeah. <laughs> it sounds I'm so on good. the